we're here in Vitoria, Espírito Santo. We are picking up a panela de barro, a clay pot that we're gonna make the typical dish here, the muqueca. fazer uma muqueca capixaba. Capixaba porque é do Espírito Santo. Today we're going to make a muqueca capixaba, which is a special dish here from the state of Espírito Santo. Aqui nós usamos a panela de barro. So we use this uh, clay pot. Que é feito de uma argila especial que dá no mangue, onde ficam as paneleiras que fabricam a panela. It's made from a very special clay from here in Espírito Santo. There's a very long tradition of the women who make them. Então, para fazer a muqueca, nós temos os ingredientes. So here are the ingredients of the muqueca. É. Alguns são especiais, tipo urucum. Yeah, so this is the urucum, it's what gives the reddish color to the muqueca. A gente começa com azeite. Put some olive oil, as much as you want, but a good amount of olive oil. Two to three big spoons. A muqueca capixaba você pode fazer de qualquer fruto do mar. So the muqueca capixaba you can uh, use any seafood you like. Tipo peixe, lagosta, camarão. You could use fish or lobster or shrimp, which is what we are doing today. Sim. We also have uh, seedy little um, crabs. Também se faz de peixe que dá em árvore, que é a banana. Yeah. So said, even the fish that comes from the tree, the banana. <laughs> Primeira coisa, refogar o alho. First thing, gotta saute some garlic. So nice, good amount of, put as much as you want, of course, but we like a yeah, lot of garlic. Yeah, we like a lot. So nice and chopped. Picadinha? Sim. Eu já vou colocar o urucum. Then she's gonna put the urucum. Which, if you don't have it in the United States, no problem. It's just a special thing that you put here, but it will still work well without yeah. it. Se não tiver, use os tomates bem maduros. If you don't have it, use some very ripe tomatoes to give a nice red mm. color. Saute the garlic and love. Mm -hmm. It smells good. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, next to it, this pan here is the rice, yeah. which is what goes very well. Yeah. Now, cebola. Here's the onion. Chop however you like. There's two kinds of muqueca. There's the muqueca from Bahia and muqueca from Espírito Santo. And in Bahia, they use Dang did the palm oil and coconut milk, and sometimes some other things too, like bell peppers and different things. Here in the Sweden, the Santa is a little more simple no dang did or coconut milk. Para fazer a muqueca de camarão, camarão cozinha em 3 minutos. Yeah, to do the camarão, the shrimp muqueca, is a little different than the fish muqueca because of how quickly the shrimps cook. Então, o que, que tem que fazer? Primeiro faz um molho bem espesso de tomate. Quando estiver bem espesso, adiciona o camarão. Sim, se for de peixe, até aqui pode ser igual. Up to here would be the same stuff. Sim, aí faz tipo uma salada com tomate e o cilantro. Yeah, so then you'd make like a little salad with these tomatoes and uh, cilantro. Aí você poria o, as postas de peixe, uma camada dessa salada. So you put the fish fillets and then a layer of this salad. Então, sal, né? Salt and pepper, obviously, to yeah. taste. E tampa. And then just e cover. cozinhar sem mexer. And Acabou. then let it cook without mixing. Yeah. Agora o tomate. The tomato. Here we're going to mix it up and let this cook for a while and then add the shrimps at the end. Salt, put whatever salt you want. 
depois a gente experimenta. Later we'll try and see if it's salted enough. Coentro. The cilantro is very important. É, você tá deixando um pouquinho pra é pra sprinkle. So she put a nice amount of cilantro, as you can see, and left some for the end to not... Garnish. For the garnish. Sim. E pimenta. And a little bit. Of Uma pimenta eu coloquei hoje. Just one. One uh, at the de moça. Dedo de moça, não sei como. I'm not sure the name in English, but. Would the girl lady, finger. finger. Moça. Moça, yeah. Girl's finger. It's uh, not too spicy pepper. Uh, sometimes it's barely spicy at all. But this week we've eaten a couple that were a little <laughs> spicier than usual. Agora. Tampamos a panela. So now we're gonna put the lid on the pot and just let it cook down until it's nice and thick and rich. And then once it's like a nice tomato sauce, you'll throw the shrimps in. Now the mukeka is nice and thick and the tomatoes have cooked down with everything. It's a beautiful sauce. Mm -hmm. Time to throw in Camarões. shrimps. And they're local shrimp? Sim, pescados não tão longe, mas da, da Grande Vitória, mas um lugar bem limpo, assim. From Sim. a very clean place here, very close to the city of Vitória. And she's putting a lot of shrimp, and you could, you know, put as much shrimp as you think you... É, eu fiz molho para bastante. You might eat... Tem bastante gente. There's a lot of people here today, so... Shrimps for lots of people. Bomba. Aí você viu que o molho parou de ferver. So then, as you put the shrimp in, you'll notice they'll cool down the sauce, and the sauce will stop boiling as you mix it. Aí, misture bem. Yeah, so mix it well. This type of clay pot, they hold heat very well, so they get really hot. If you have one, so if you don't, of course you can do it in any other pot. Quando começar a ferver de novo, cinco minutos. And then, as it starts boiling again, put the top back on, let it sit for a few minutes, and it will be ready. Está fervendo. It's now boiling. Marcamos três minutos agora. So we're gonna do three minutes, and then it's okay. It'll be good. So we were headed out to the beach today. And we're here drinking some uh, Portuguese green wine, which is peculiar to Portugal. Only Portugal produces this kind of wine. And it's a very uh, refreshing, sparkling wine. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had the opportunity to get from a local, what we call Bahaca, which is like a kiosk. Uh, fish that is very typical of this region of Brazil. In fact, if you go along the coastline, south is Rio de Janeiro, north is Bahia. And neither of these states has this fish, serves this fish, and it's a staple of the state of Spirit Santo, especially here in Vitória, when tourists come, they they must try out the peruá. These are small peruás. Mm -hmm. They've almost gone into extinction because of mineiros coming here to eat. <laughs> <laughs> but we still have a few left, and we're gonna dive in. Mas se você me der seu coração Eu só vou comer na palma da mão Palavra de rei assoalho de estrela Alright, well, lunch is served, so we're gonna dig in. Tchim tchim, saúde! 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 A pessoa tá querendo saber. A pessoa. Saúde. <laughs>